you, Lord. <laughs> Good afternoon on today's Word for Life. It's been a little while, so we've been out of town and busy, but I do have a word for you today. It's called, Where Are Your Resources Coming From? And so in a, in a, a time when there's a lot of voices going on, a lot of things in the atmosphere, people are in a lot of warfare there's just a lot of things going on we need to discern where these voices and where the resources are coming from that are speaking them and so in john 8:44, when jesus was speaking to the religious people of his day he says you are of your father the devil and you want to do the desires of your father he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him and so whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own nature, and another version said from his own resource, for he is a liar and the father of lies. And so when I talk about a resource center, the word resource means that which is resorted to for aid, support, or supply. And so we know that Satan is the father of lies. And so he supports his uh, death structures, his strongholds, his, his agendas with lies. Okay. And so we have to as children of the kingdom we have to discern the voices we hear within and also outside of us okay it's very very important and it's needful to guard our heart from the spirit of deception because deceiving spirits are those that speak out of people and also will speak in the atmosphere depending on what environment you're in who you're around who you're connected to and then also in our own heart and so I'm going to break that down a little bit and so the enemy of our soul will use any resource to get us to believe a lie because remember he supports his agendas by lies because he is the father of lies and so an area of woundedness a wounded soul okay that is uh, hurting that is broken and it has been uh, broken even by other people or it can these agendas or things can come out of that because there is a plot and a plan behind what the enemy is doing to that person and so remember that the resource can come from a wounded soul and also it can come out of your own self-sabotage when you don't have a healthy soul because the Bible says so a man thinks in his heart so is he and so if you have a bad self-image you know those things until you get healing those things are going to continue to speak to you they'll continue to uh, lie to you and reinforce um, the rejection or the insecurity the thing that you have within that you need the Lord to heal and so you have to learn a good warfare and cast down those self-sabotage thoughts you got to cast those things down you got to watch your relationships in that area that you're not connected to people that tear you down but people that will build you upward in Christ Jesus amen and so that's a good area um, other people have a, a root of offense and so when people are offended um, the spirit of offense is a snare it is a trap okay and so when we refuse to forgive people the enemy traps us in a spiritual curse of unforgiveness and so when there's unforgiveness then the then the enemy has a resource center to speak to you he has an open door and he has access to your soul and he's able able to traffic you he's able to go in and out he's able to torment you and uh, say all manner of evil and all of those things and it will come from within if it's toward yourself and even toward other people the enemy will use that spirit to speak to you and reinforce lies and also um, the root of offense speaks through other people and so you have to know a spirit by its nature and so when people come to you with things the area of the resources of an offended uh, spirit would be gossip slander uh, secondhand uh, info filled with wrong perceptions and half truth it's very very common um, 
to see that working in the body of Christ because the devil hates unity in the brethren. He does not want uh, the brethren to dwell together in unity. And so he works through these things, through um, all of this, all these areas I'm talking about. James 3 talks about the tongue and how hard it is to tame and that the tongue is deadly and can be deadly to the body. And so life and death is in the power of the tongue and people eat the fruit of the things that they speak and so resources it could be that um you've created you've created these resources we said because of a wrong self-image or believing a lie and so both of those areas you you have to forgive yourself and you have to learn to forgive other people and also i want to share a scripture romans 12 9 it says let love be without hypocrisy he said abhor what is evil cling to what is good and so in Galatians 6, 9, it says a little leaven leavens the whole lump of dough. In 1 Corinthians 5, 6, it says your boasting is not good. He says, do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump of dough? Then he says, clean out the old leaven so that you may be a new lump just as you are in fact unleavened he said for christ our passover lamb has been sacrificed so if you ever bake bread uh we grew up baking bread still do sometimes and and when you take that little uh tablespoon of yeast leaven represents yeast and you throw it into the dough what does it do it expands it spreads through the whole lump of dough and then it rises and it increases. And so that's what this leaven of hypocrisy Jesus is speaking of. And so I want to share uh, many times leaven. People, what happens is when people have unhealed areas of their soul. And so there's a breach, there's an offense, there's a pain, an area of brokenness. It could be unforgiveness, something, a trauma. It could be anything like that. And so whenever they went through that experience, okay, they experienced something bad. And, they, and the enemy comes and he sows into that event, into that place. He puts his leaven in there, okay? And so that place in their soul, in their heart, is full of leaven. It's full of all kinds of uh, pain, full of lies, full of all kinds of things. So because that place is still unhealed, the enemy uses the leaven, all right? Remember, because he speaks out of a resource in the heart. And so he uses the leaven to speak to you from within that place. And But when it gets, um, when the leaven comes up out of the wounded soul or the angry soul or the hurt soul, what they're doing is they most of the time are speaking out of that event. And so the devil can use that. They pull it up. They speak out of that event that they have not dealt with. Okay. Even though it's something in the past. It's, it's coming out as if it is today. They still feel it. They still experience it. They're living in it. And so the, it, when they begin to speak out of that place, that leaven that's in their heart begins to be uh, spewed out into other people in the body. It's very, very toxic and contaminating to the work of Jesus. And so um, it gets cast into the heart of other people. And these other people that are on the receiving end of this evil leaven don't even know or they're unaware of the past experience in this person. But they're living today and receiving the evil in someone else. So you need to see this spiritually as I'm teach, trying to teach this today. So they're reaping people in your life today will reap the repercussions okay of what happened to you in past seasons if you don't get healed and so you're you're caught you're spreading things within the body of christ and it could be in your own house amongst your own children children pick up their parents offenses it's very common and so they're reaping the repercussions of your past pain or your offenses help us lord to get free of this and so i'm going to keep on reading some of these notes here and so the spirit we have to know the spirit behind the words that people speak to us okay 
And so we have Holy Spirit. If you're a child of God, you have Holy Spirit and you are more discerning than you realize. And so when the spirit of discernment, which is Holy Spirit, and yes, it is a gift of Holy Spirit, but he is the gift and we have access to discerning spirits. And so when you discern that someone is speaking to you and the motive is evil or the motive is manipulation, you have a choice. You can come up under that. You can receive that evil, right? And guess what? That leaven's going to get in you. You're going to get hooked by that spirit of manipulation. And so that's why in Acts 16, when Paul had to cast the spirit of divination, which is a spirit of witchcraft, out of the little girl, the slave girl, because she was following uh, the men of God all around, and she was saying the right things, that these are servants of the Most High God, declaring the way to be saved. And she went on and on and on, but the spirit behind the words was evil. And it was a spirit of witchcraft, a manipulating witchcraft spirit. And it was trying to uh, bring a reproach to the purity of the kingdom of God. And so Paul turned around. He was annoyed at not the child, not the girl. The girl did not annoy him. It was the spirit in her. Mm -hmm. It was the spirit in her. So he cast the spirit out of her. He got rid of what was inside of her, and then she became a different person. And so we don't fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against the spirit. We wrestle against the spirit. We're in a hand-to-hand -hand fight with the spiritual realm, not our brother, not our sister, but the spirit. So we can't condone these things as a child of God. And so we get too passive with the spirit of, of the enemy. And so the leaven of hypocrisy, all right? Jesus talks about it. What is a hypocrite? A hypocrite is a pretender. They say the right things, but they mean you no good. And so I read in Romans 12, 9, again, let love be without hypocrisy. So there's no motive behind the love that I show somebody. There's not a motive behind a good deed. There's not a motive behind saying, I love you and I care for you. Or I'm praying for you. There's no motive when it's Jesus. It's pure. And there's no hypocrisy in the pure love of Christ. And so the spirit behind these conversations, when there's hypocrisy, when there's leaven, all of that is a perverse spirit. Okay? It has evil agendas attached. And so this, I said before, the spirit behind the kind deeds, even if it's an act of kindness, it means you're no good. Just like the spirit in the, of divination did not mean the apostles any good. The spirit that is in that of is that of manipulation was trying to hook you. And so when it hooks you, what it wants to do is it wants to bait you into aligning with its destruction against you and so it's out to bait you to align with is the destruction that's after you and so a manipulator always has its own scheme in mind to do you evil a little leaven leavens the whole lump of dough and so jesus said in matthew 16 6 he says uh, to them, watch out and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. He said, beware of their teaching. Beware of what they're doing. Don't do what they do. And so in saying all of that, where are your resources coming from? Sila, let that sink in. A resource is that which the enemy uses uh, for support, for supply, to speak to you or to speak out of you. And so, Father, I just thank you for this word today. And Father God, I just ask that uh, what I said today, Father God, that, that it would go into the hearts of your people, that it will cause them uh, to have ears open to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to them today. Father, I cover this word in the blood of Jesus. I thank you that the seed of the word of God is going to penetrate the hard places. And it's also going to expose the leaven that they have within their heart, the leaven that they have sown, Father, in any area 
areas where there's unforgiveness, any place where the enemy has to pull out of them. We thank you, Father, that when we repent, that you are faithful and just to forgive us and to wash us. And we know, Father, that when we repent, that means that we change our behavior. That means that we do, we go the opposite direction of that thing that was using us. We cease and stop sinning. We cease and stop having unforgiveness. We stop uh, spreading slander. We stop bringing discord. We stop talking evil about ourselves. We cast down, Father, vain imaginations. We cast down any um, bitter root judgments or any curses that we have, Father God, against our own being, Lord God. So, Father, I just thank you for the grace, and I just release blessing over your people today, Father God, and we bind and we rebuke the voice of the enemy. And Father, let us only pull out of the resource of the word of God. The word of God is living and active and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. It is our lamp. Father God is our light. It is life. It is bread to us. And so I just decree and declare over those that took time to listen today that the word of God will be their resource center and only that will they pull out of father and i just thank you for that and i bless them today in the name of jesus amen